right, everybody. Um, I'm here with the doctor from New Hampshire. I want to uh, get his take on uh, the two spots that we kited at. We kited at Burwood Beach and then Barrick School. Um, doctor, you want to tell us who you are? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Rick Murphy from New Hampshire. We're down here visiting friends and uh, got a hold of Brian and Buddy. And uh, they have been uh, just chaperoning me. Uh, to a couple of really good spots that uh, Buddy has already mentioned. Uh, I've had, uh, well, we've gone about five days now and every day there's been wind. I think the lowest wind was maybe 16, 17 knots and today we were in, oh, probably the mid-20s, 25, 26, and at least one of those days we were out there in the 30s. So it's definitely a challenge. Uh, the water is beautiful, it's warm, it's clear, it's clean. Uh, and uh, we were the only kite surfers out there, remarkably. So it was a great time. Yeah, and you, you like Burwood Beach to a point. I think they're, they're both great spots. Burwood is a little wavier, uh, which is fun. And uh, the, I forget the name of the school beach. Barrett, Barrett School. Barrett School Beach. Um, has a choice. It, what I like about Barrett School is that it's got a, a flat water inside the reef where you can do a lot of speed running and uh, I'm uh, practicing what I like to call my geriatric jumping. Um, I'm about to turn 65 shortly and I'm still trying to learn how to jump so uh, it's not pretty sometimes but I'm, I'm still trying. Well, I'm going to make you look good with the video that I'm putting up. So this voiceover will uh, go over the top of you probably looking like a pro jumping because I know I've got at least four or five really good steady shots of your jumping. But like he says, he was working on it. So some of the landings are a little sketchy, but that's part of the, the barrack school. It, it's easier to park your kite when you're doing a transition. You. You was telling me you really like doing transitions there. Yeah, the flat water, it's, it's just butter out there. And uh, on a day like today, you really didn't even have to think about it. You just started to point downwind a little bit and you just got whipped right around. And yeah, buddy, uh, if you will edit out those face plants, I would appreciate it. <laughs> well, I, I will do that. And I, I, like I told him earlier, I'll probably send those as a link only to him in an unlisted file so he can kind of see what happened. Right. But it shocked me so bad, I, you know, I was just worried for his safety. But <laughs> Whoops, uh, don't tell my wife. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you, you were actually uh, in very good hands, safe. It is a safe place to be. And um, you experienced uh, way more kiting than most people. Uh, this is, like I was saying earlier, this is one of the best places to learn. Bar Barrett School is for more experienced people. You can see that in the videos. And Burwood is for training and actually new students. It's just a sandy bottom, and that's what it's good for. It's very safe. Yeah, and there's that third spot that I didn't kite at, but Brian mentioned that. The Luminous uh, Lagoon. Yeah, okay. which is very protected. Uh, he takes people off of a boat, I guess, but uh, it's, it's enclosed and uh, flat water for, you know, your very first times, I guess. So anyway, certainly for intermediate kite boarders, uh, the two beaches that we, we were at were just really fun and nice challenges and uh, just great conditions. So overall, um, with the, the way uh, Brian gave you instructions and the way you made that arrangement with him to take you kiting, uh, that worked out to your satisfaction? It, it really worked out great. Um, you know, I'm, I'm here uh, with uh, my wife and friends, but none of them are kite boarders, and as oftentimes the case, I kind of have to head off on my own. And when I've been in various countries and various places, you know, there's usually other kite boarders around, and you can kind of hook up with them. But uh, around here, this is undiscovered, and there really aren't other kite boarders. So hooking up with Brian and Buddy has uh, made it uh, safer for me, you know, with the local knowledge and also just helping me uh, get off of the beaches and get back on the beaches without wrecking my equipment. Uh, you know, it's just a really, really good time and these two guys have been uh, a lot of fun to hang out with. All right, really appreciate that. Thank you for giving me this interview. And um, we'll be talking.
so if you're looking for barrack school you'll see this field right here sometimes it's blocked off sometimes it's not but there's also a road right over here where you see that uh, basketball court and that blue house right there you can park over there but if you can get in you can come in through this gap right there and you drive down this road and come here and you park and you can see fisherman's village you can see the all-age school right there so it is easy to get here you just have to be uh, willing to look for it but this is a soccer field there's two churches right there across from the soccer field and the gazebo is if you turn into all age school they got a gate and they will lock the gate on you so it's best not to park there if you come into barrack school but thought i'd show you this and when you see the birds just hanging out that means the wind is really good so all right Brian is self-launching. This is how you do it. If you're here at Barrick School, he's tied off to a tree. See it? Now the kite just hangs out and stays right there. Board. 